Um, so it looks pretty sparse today, but I'll go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. We had we had a new viewer release um, this week, which didn't turn out to go well. Um, this was the tools update viewer, which was based on the new compilers. Um, everything looked good for it, and put it out into the world, and it turned out that it had a pro you know one or more problems that was causing it to crash, specifically with new users in the welcome areas. Um, kind of a hole in our process that we don't have a good way to detect that ahead of time because the new users don't get the RC viewers that we normally use to test these things. Um, so uh, as a result, we actually rolled back that update and uh, back to the previous viewer, which is the CEF viewer. Um, so we're trying to figure out what's going on there, trying to get it fixed. At some point, there will be an updated uh, tools update viewer going out, and uh, you know, hopefully, we'll be able to sort out the issues. But uh, anyway, that was that was what was going on there. Everybody hearing me okay? Okay, great. Uh, let's see what else is going on with viewers. Um, the Big push right now is trying to get the Love Me Render Viewer is out. That has uh, uh, trying to get the Love Me Render Viewer out. That has a collection of uh, important uh, kind of post EEP graphics fixes, um, and we're down to just a few kind of open in progress uh, bugs right now. So I'm hoping we'll be able to get that done before too much longer. Um, then, uh, so after, after Let Me Render goes out and after, uh, uh, after we get a fix for tools update, then we have a few other things in the pipeline. Um, the profiles viewer has been, uh, unfortunately, kind of in the wings for a long time. I'm still trying to get the the last one or two issues sorted out there um it's it's been slowed down a bit by the fact that it's uh there are issues with how it integrates with the web based content and uh there've been a few cases where we had to do web changes to um to get the viewer to work correctly and that just uh, kind of slows down the process um Let's see, we've also got a new mate release. Uh, mate 501 is looking good. Um, so that one could probably go out uh, pretty soon. Um, oh, hey, somebody got the chairs to work. They weren't uh, they weren't lifting up earlier. Um, let's see, and uh, then we've got some other things farther down the line, like the mesh uploader. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, big changes are going to be the the uh, graphics fixes for, for Love Me Render and the, the tools update fix that we're trying to get out. Uh, other than that, not a lot of news this week. Um, let's see, Ryder, anything, uh, anything new to talk about on the, the simulator side? Uh, no, nothing, uh, no news on my end. Uh, that that was it. Uh, All right, thanks. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, I guess we're basically open for questions. Anybody who just got here, um, I was talking about the fact that we had to roll back the tools update viewer. Um, that was a, a problem that really only turned out once the viewer was in production um, and not during our RC testing stage. So we try to avoid those situations, but uh, occasionally something goes wrong and we have to. We have to back out a release, so that's what we've done in this case, just working on a fix. Uh, 
Uh, no, we've been seeing a lot of crashes, and specifically we've been seeing crashes um, on with people in the Welcome Island areas, the new users. Um, so that's you know that's an area that where the RCs don't get tested, and uh, you know it's bad if new users aren't able to get in. So we're trying to get that sorted out. ETA on getting it back out? No, we don't really know what all the issues are at this point. Um, still, still uh, just identifying the bugs based on the reports we're getting from the Crash Browser and starting to research it. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll keep everybody posted, but we don't really have a timeline at this point. Should be rolling back from merging those. Ah, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend releasing a viewer that that incorporates those changes right now. I think you're probably going to run into similar crashes. Um, if it's just a question of you know, kind of making decisions about how you want to manage your your current development work, um, you know, you you don't necessarily need to back it out right away. It's you know, we'll. I'm hoping that we'll have a fix in the fairly near term, but it's just we don't really have a chance to do more. Yeah. Dead, if there's a deadlock issue, I'm not sure if I know about that one. Um, you know, the stuff we've been identifying in the crash browser is, you know, only things that make it far enough for the, to get logged as crashes. So deadlock would be harder to spot. Anybody know how that's triggered or or know about a Jira for it? Okay, thanks for uh, for the update on that. I made a note. Uh, Julia, with the, the low FPS, are there any particular circumstances that are making it worse, particular types of, um, you know, areas where you see more of a problem, or is it kind of across the, across the board?
Yeah, we are looking at the uh, water thing right now. Yeah, it does look like water rendering is a significant hit right now, and that is one of the areas that the um, folks working on the, the Let Me Render rendering issues uh, are, are looking at. Uh, yeah, the render fixes do seem to be getting closer. We only have a, a handful of kind of open active issues right now. Um, you know, the the performance question, it's, it's you know, not clear how far we're going to be able to pursue that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think there's one simple issue that we fix it and, and get the same performance as people are looking for. So, you know, it's, if, if it turns out to be a, uh, you know, a, a multi-month process that involves lots of different causes, then we don't have the bandwidth to do that. Um, so we'll see. We're trying to take a kind of targeted approach, look at the areas where we're seeing the, the most slowdown and see if we can improve on it a bit. But, um, you know, just to kind of set expectations there, it's, um, you know, it's it's not uh, it's not something I think there's going to be just a, a quick fix to, to make everything uh, you know exactly what uh, what it is on another viewer. Uh, sorry, you're asking what are the new features with EEP? Well, you know, EEP involves new kinds of 
controls, it also involves uh, a new mechanism for for customization. Um, you know, uh, turning this the set of environment settings into assets that can be, you know, sold, traded, exchanged, whatever. Can you hear me? My uh, headset decided to turn off for no apparent reason. Yeah. Ryder, do you want to say anything else about the kind of range of stuff in EAP? Sure. You know, uh, aside, aside from just the... the some of the visual features like uh, uh, customizable clouds, customi uh, customizable uh, uh, sun and moon. Uh, you're, we've the bit, probably the one of the biggest things was turning EAP into or turning turning skies into actual actual assets in your uh, so. You know, the, these can be these can be traded, created, bought, sold. Um, the uh, we also added uh, we also added native support for uh, for uh, envi uh, environmental layers. Uh, uh, so different altitudes can have different skies, as opposed to the the rather jury rigged. Uh, Put it in your put it in your parcel description. Um, there is there's better there's better checking. I mean, there there are there are a host of there are a host of features. Oh yes, and uh, uh, native support for parcels. I, 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 yeah, I understand the question was partially, uh, was, was partially rhetorical, Liz. Uh, no, actually, uh, anyone you know, just right click on a, uh, Right click on an inventory in your, or a uh, an environment on in your inventory and uh, say apply to me or apply to uh, apply to the parcel or or if you own the region apply to the region. Everyone can live in a world of their own or something. Something along those lines. We have had some reports about stalls, and we are we are looking at those currently as well.
Changing texture memory. Yeah, I mean, that is on our list of things we'd like to get to um, if we stop working on EAP at some point. Uh, Katie, okay, if you have a patch, I'm, uh, you know, we're happy to take a look at it. Okay, well, yeah, if you have a patch, uh, just say happy to take a look. Yeah, for anything internally. You know, work related, we exclusively use the uh, Second Life uh, Linden Lab viewer. Uh, you know, one difference for people using the um, using the app internally is that we're typically in less busy regions. Um, that may that may affect our our kind of point of view on some of that stuff. You know, we do testing in texture dense regions, but we don't uh, kind of live there.
Do our bit to support the economy. Uh, Ryder, question about the new offline inventory cap and the inventory roll. Do you know anything about that? Uh, yeah, uh, that was Candy Graham here. Uh, that should be live on the entire grid at this point. Uh, so if you want to switch to the cap, go right ahead. Uh, coffee, any of the Blakes, the, uh, if I understand it, if I understand correctly, um, on Aditi, the entire Blake C is, uh, is up on AWS, so is in, is up in the cloud. Yeah, so, so go to any Blake C region, uh, on Aditi. All right, anything else for this week? We can uh, give people 25 minutes back, if not. Oh, thanks for the uh, photo back. That looks really cool.
Let me guess, it involves many triangles. We have at various times had in-world tours where we would get a bunch of people together and go visit interesting regions. Um, we haven't had that the uh, last few weeks, but uh, yeah, we've gotten some funny reactions when we all showed up at the same time. We, we need to start doing that again. Yeah, I really should. I, either that or greedy games Drive by bearings on uh, on uh, welcome regions. Teleport in, mass share the bear, teleport out. Bear bombing. <laughs> All right. Well, let's call it a wrap. Um, so yeah, watch this space. We are we are trying really hard to get the um, tools update issue fixed and let me render out and uh, hopefully both those will be happening in the not too distant future. We'll uh, be talking to you later.